beautiful Reykjavik, Iceland is the scene for today's European qualifier from Group J. It is Iceland versus Portugal. Alongside Kobe Jones, I'm JP Della Camera. A lot of great storylines in this game, Kobe. The big one, Cristiano Ronaldo getting his 200th cap. It doesn't get much better than that bigger than that JP when we talk about this Cristiano Ronaldo getting the 200th cap and how he's done it over the years presenting himself as arguably one of the best players ever to play this game and as far as a striker he just consistently scores goals and he's doing that so far this season as well with four goals he's had two two goal games the first two games in qualifying it is Portugal with Ronaldo in white with a green and red trim. Iceland at home will be in blue. Iceland has done great at home, only two losses at home in their last 13 European qualifying games. As for Portugal, perfect record so far in this phase of qualifying. Cristiano Ronaldo right now being honored for his 200th international cap and like we discussed he's spoken about how much it means to represent his country that this dream will always be his he continues to impact and make a difference and he said I don't follow the records they follow me which is also his motivation to continue playing at the highest level. Another flick. Danilo cleans that up. Nice time. Joao Cancelo putting it into the box. And on the bounce, it goes true to Runerson. They still look for Ronaldo. Ball is still alive in the box. Play back out. And he missed the target there. Unhappy Cristiano Ronaldo. He thought somebody was going to make that run and catch up to that ball and then break and pushing the pace of the game. Fredrickson tried to win it there. It's coming back the other way. Several and White now on the attack. An early ball, maybe too early there. It goes White to Runerson. Ball is moved ahead by Ruben Neves. Bernardo Silva lays it off for Delo on the cut. Delo shot blocked. Delo breakout pass. Bernardo Silva, oh, it's slightly behind, but caught up to by Cristiano Ronaldo. That's as deep as he's been in this game to receive a ball. Over the top, Rafael Leal leaves it. João Cancelo into the box, not it down. And the referee has stopped play. Another foul on Portugal. Oh, my. Long distance free kick for Portugal. We're in that first minute of stoppage time. Floated in. Ronaldo, and then it goes up and over. He says, deflection. He said, no, no, no way. Let's see. Ronaldo at the near. And then it's cleared out. I think, I think he's upset that they may have called it a handball on him. Oh. I'm saying... Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that was the body language, right? Yeah, saying he didn't touch it there. Yeah, the 15 nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first clue. Yeah. Yeah. As the players being spoken to, his Pepe is still down. That's rough. Look, he's looking directly at Pepe. You know, he could have been red. No? Yeah, that could have been red. The, pr the problem for me on that one is that he's not even looking at the ball initially. He's looking, you know, at Pepe and then looks at the ball in the final second. So he's looking to come in and be aggressive on that play. 
I'm sure that's what Portugal was appealing, and you could see the gestures for the elbows. Like an elbow like that is a red in most cases. You know, through the defense. For grabs, and that skimmed the top of the crossbar. On corner kick number seven, they could have had the first goal. He still got it, JP. Yep. He still got it. That jumping ability where he's able to get up before everybody else, and it's that hang time that allows him to stay up there. He, he connects with it, but just goes over the bar. Still such a threat off of set pieces. Playing now with Al Nasir in Saudi Arabia. 14 goals in 16 games. Intent of a Bruno Fernandez is behind him. Bernardo Silva has it blocked by Paulson. Bruno Fernandez into the middle. That falls. Ronaldo thinking about it. Wants the shot. It took a deflection. And it's going to be the ninth corner for Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo flag goes up immediately. Rafael Leal settles. Puts it up. Cristiano Ronaldo couldn't get it down off his chest there. That ball hit him. They haven't been this high upfield in a while, Iceland. Most of the second half, they've been defending. Cristiano Ronaldo says, no, no. Not me. Not enough for a yellow. <laughs> Let's see if Cristiano goes in and just barely, barely touches him. I think that's why it smiles all the way around. Inacio. Over the top, right out off the chest, keepers out. Close call. What a brilliant ball by Inacio finding Cristiano. This is what Cristiano's been looking for all day. Nice deft touch. Deflected ball rolls ahead. And look who draws another foul. On the right side, they'll hold it up outside the box. Ronaldo. Oh, he draws another one. And it. Whoa. They call that on him. Well, the Iceland fans are cheering. Did he call? He called that on Ronaldo for embellishment. Ball played in, headed down. Quick shot. There it is. Unless the flag's up. Ronaldo's looking over to the side. Players are afraid to celebrate. Because they don't know if it's a legit goal or not. He's saying shouldn't be offside. Didn't see the flag go up. Do a VAR. I hope we get another look at that. You would think they're reviewing this. Yeah, goal check. Now, let's take a close look at this. I think Inacio's on an, in an onside position, and so does Cristiano. Yeah. There, there's other players that are in an offside position, but they're not impacting as they're walking back. Well. They're still checking. He looked right away. We're already in stoppage time. We went beyond the 90 minutes. This will be a long-awaited celebration if they say it's a goal. There it is. He can celebrate. <laughs> you can see him asking the referee if it was before he made the call. Like, is it a goal? And I thought I could see a little smile there. 1-0 Portugal. Goal 123 in his 200th international appearance. And no matter what you think of that situation or of Cristiano Ronaldo, you, you got to love the joy. You know, that is going on off of this goal celebration. 200th cap. His celebration known around the world. I mean, it, you just got to be happy for him. You can see there just that last... That ball goes. Nacio's in an onside position. And, and, and let's give credit to Nacio just to recognize that Cristiano Ronaldo's running in there and just a little deft touch back on the header. And Ronaldo finishes it off. One to zero. And this is what we're talking about. It, it was going to take time. It's a lot of effort. Fifth goal for Cristiano Ronaldo. He thinks he's coming out maybe for the sub, but now he's staying in. Jolta's coming in, playing with the extra man after the second yellow card to Willemsen. That was around the 80th or so minute. 
Ronaldo back up. That should be it. Kobe, your thoughts? Well, it's all about that man. You know, <laughs> number 200, 200th cap and getting the goal on the day. It's it ju it's just impressive all the way around. And this Portuguese team did, did what they needed to do. They switched up their tactics in the second half to be a little bit more aggressive. And it paid dividends in the end. And of course, who other <laughs> than Cristiano Ronaldo with the goal to put this uh, Portuguese side over the top?